Hey YouTube, it's Christina. I had a thought earlier when I was walking around Cabela's with my man and my kids and um, it was a, a thought that really like resonated in my brain and I just wanted to share it with you. And that is whichever way you allow your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, whoever it is that you're dating to treat you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Now, when I was younger, I felt badly about myself and I put myself with people that I should have never been with. I put up with a lot more crap than I ever should have. I put up with a lot more abuse than I ever should have. I put up with a lot of... I, I didn't go for a Prince Charming. I settled for whatever I could find. Um, I always dated the bad boys. I always dated the people that were in trouble. Um, I always dated the exact opposite of what my parents told me to go after. And a lot of that rebellion wasn't just because I was upset with my parents and I wanted to do the exact opposite of what they wanted me to. A lot of that was just because I didn't feel good enough about myself. And if you don't feel good enough, you're not going to expect to be able to get somebody. I don't, I don't, I don't like using the word somebody better because that... I don't think anybody's better than anybody else. I think everybody has the same potential to be just as good as anyone. But let's just say somebody that would be better for you, somebody that would treat you the best way and that was molded to be able to make you feel like you're the best person on the face of the planet. Like my boyfriend makes me feel like I am the most beautiful woman on the face of the planet. That's just how he talks to me, the things he does, the things he says, this little, you know, surprises every once in a while, like gift certificates and nail salon, stuff like that. So I never in a million years would have put myself with somebody like that years and years ago because I didn't feel like I was good enough. So here's what that boils down to. You're not just going to randomly one day wake up and feel like, hey, I'm good enough. It's going to be something that you're going to have to earn, something that you're going to have to go after. So you need to make yourself that person that you feel like is good enough. You need to make yourself into the person that's respectable, that's lovable. You need to make yourself into the person that's not going to take crap from a guy or a girl that's mistreating you. You need to make yourself somebody that you feel is so worth it that you would not settle for less. That's the only thing that's going to do it. Otherwise, you're going to stay in the same miserable relationship being treated the, treated the same way that you don't deserve to be treated because you don't feel like you deserve any more. And you might say, hey, that's not true. I feel like I deserve more. Then why are you sitting there in that relationship? Then why are you allowing that person to treat you that way? Now let me look at it this way. You should love yourself like you love one of your kids. If somebody was mistreating one of your kids, you'd jump down their freaking throat, would you not? I mean, I would. If somebody was mistreating one of my kids, they better watch out. Um, so you need to love yourself that much to where... Because that person's going to be around your kids, or they might even be the father of your kids, or they might, you know, they're going to be in your life if you plan on making a life with that person. You might already be married to that person. Um, you have to make yourself somebody that you feel deserves more, and then you won't take the crap anymore. That's at the point where you're not going to allow yourself to be mistreated. So what are the first steps into doing that? Well, look at somebody who you would love to be one day. What do they have that you don't? Are they, are they more healthy than you are weight-wise? Do you need to lose some weight in order to feel better about yourself and to feel like you're worth more? Um, are they prettier than you? Let me tell you what about being pretty for a second. Uh, now this is hard for me because people will say, nah, but without makeup and hair done, I'm not as pretty as I am with makeup and hair done. And eyebrows waxed and everything else that goes along with it. There's a lot of things that you can do to enhance your beauty. I have seen some of the most homely people turn gorgeous just from some basic colors. That doesn't mean you have to wear black eyeliner like I do. You can go do earthy tones, but there's so many things that can be done with a little bit of hair and makeup. There's so many things that can be done with a little bit of wardrobe help. There's so much that can be done to make yourself feel better about yourself. All you've got to do is want it and make that very first step to try. My name is Christina Ray. I lost 95 pounds in a little less than eight months on a program called Take Shape for Life. I would love to help you do the exact same thing. If you want to contact me, my information is below this video. My email is coachmechristina at gmail.com. Christina is spelled with a K. 
My website is coachmechristina.com, um, and my phone number and everything else should be posted below this video if you need help losing weight, motivation, any kind of anything that has to do with that. I would absolutely love to help you. I also help people repair their credit, get their lives back on track so they can buy houses and cars and things that they need for their family. So if you need help in any of those areas, I would absolutely love to be that person that helps you. I hope that you're having an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you check out some more. Oh, and please subscribe. Try to get, I've got a goal. I want to get to 10,000 subscribers so that I can do live events. I think that would be awesome for everybody. So please subscribe. Hope you're having an awesome day and you enjoyed it.